All right, what's going on everybody? Ginger on Wheels here again. Very exciting updates today. So you remember about that 011X I've been begging for? Well, Rev Rides down in Vancouver, Washington hooked it up. I drove down there yesterday. It's a nice three hour road trip. And they gave me their one and only 011X. They call it their road princess. Basically for the purposes of testing and review because they're moving into a new headquarters right now. They have a ton of scooters, ton of merchandise, huge warehouse to fill up, and they don't have time to make the 011X promotional stuff themselves. Whew, head on with the bus. So I have an ulterior motive to today's ride. You're gonna freak out when you see, well, I know I'm gonna freak out when I see what's going on inside the store over here. All right, so we're at the store. We just picked up a uh, Sunday Times. Seattle Times here and you can go ahead and flip to the middle page here and that's your boy me and a bunch of my EV buddies made it in the paper there's a guy called the Seattle sketcher running around and he's doing a story on how electric vehicles are the future the golden age of e-riders is here folks if you don't own a scooter or a one wheel or a skateboard or a unicycle buy one it's so much fun you're missing out so that's pretty cool right Okay, so we're here with the Redmond PD, uh, social distancing, but I had a question about the legality of my scooter and we're about to get an official answer. So. Yeah, yeah. so uh, as long as you're obeying all traffic laws, if you're not bypassing red lights by cutting across uh, crosswalks and stuff, because sometimes commuters and bicycles will do that, right. they'll be obeying the uh, ways of the roadway, then all of a sudden they're like, okay, well, I want to be a pedestrian now to cross off. Right. can't do that. Okay. Yeah. So, so no, switch, no flip flopping. Yeah. Yeah. No. If you're a bike, you're a bike. If you're a car, you're a car. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, um, yeah, that's. It is pretty great. It's good to know. As long as it's being yet. safe, respectful, obeying the speed limits, and uh, obeying the rules of the road. Yeah, you'll be just fine. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, thanks for the heads up. Yeah, you're very I welcome. Appreciate it. Yeah. Enjoy, See man. You around. What I was just told is in the city of Redmond, if you feel like you can't ride safely in the roadway, you're allowed to ride on the sidewalk if you're being safe, but preferably you'll ride in a dedicated bike lane like this. You can, however, ride in the road if you feel like you're not gonna impede traffic and it's you feel safe. There's no law against uh, going over a certain miles per hour as long as you're within the speed limit and aren't on the freeway. So there you have it. And that cop was talking about a podcast that he just recently did on electric vehicles. And if I can find that, I'll go ahead and link it in the description along with all the goodies I've got on my scooter here. I was so sick and tired of getting questions about what was on the front of my scooter, either on Instagram or Reddit or Twitter or YouTube. If you're curious what's on my scooter at all, just roll through the description and check out all the products that I linked. I've got everything that I use to film and everything that I use to scoot, all my locks and goodies. But anyway, in the description with all my goodies, I'll put the podcast that that cop was just talking about. All right, the end part of this video is just gonna be for the enthusiasts. We got all the administrative stuff out of the way. I'm in the paper and talked to the cops, got that taken care of. And now I'm just gonna rip around on the wolf. So enjoy. I can just go all out on the trail when there's no people and we're paralleling the freeway. Really reminds you that you're almost as fast as a car on the freeway is.
have it. Falls. 